In this video, we are going to go over some basics in similarity. And here we have a four groups of similar figures. As you can see, we have a pentagons, we have similar triangles, and a Pikachu's and a two cubes. The concept of being similar is very intuitive. If two figures have the same shape, then you can say the two figures are similar. But here we want to express this idea in mathematical language, which should have two aspects of meaning. In order to be similar, the two shapes must have the same. In order to be similar, the corresponding angles of the two figures must be congruent. So corresponding angles are congruent. And secondly, the corresponding size, the corresponding size are proportional. And here the proportional means that the sides have the same ratio. And we are going to illustrate this point very soon. So if the two figures meet these two conditions, then we say the two figures are similar. And this relationship here is a vice versa. That means if you are given the two figures are similar, then the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. Now let's think of a question. Are any two rectangles similar? Hey, the answer is no. For two rectangles, you know, the corresponding angles must be congruent. But anyway, the, all the four angles here, they are 90 degrees. But the thing is, the corresponding sides are not necessarily proportional. Okay, for example, if you say this side over this side is 1.5, the ratio is 1.5, and this side over this side may be 1.1. So the corresponding size may not be proportional. So we cannot say that any two rectangles are similar. Okay, then in terms of the notation, we can use the wave shape. Okay, this is the symbol for being similar. And let's take these two triangles, for example. You can write triangle ABC similar to triangle. And here's another thing. In this expression, we always write the corresponding vertices in the same order. And here, by saying the same order, I mean, if you put a vertex A in the first place in this triangle, then you should put its corresponding vertex also in the first place. So that would be A prime. And we can tell that A and A prime, these two vertices, they are corresponding. And then which vertex should we put on the second place? That should be B prime, which is corresponding to this B here, and then C prime. Sometimes this expression is very useful if you are not given the diagram. Because from this expression, we can tell who is corresponding to whom. For example, the AB side is corresponding to A prime, B prime, and the BC side is uh, corresponding to B prime and C prime. As you can see, the expression is here. The BC and the B prime, C prime, they are at the same, you can say the same location in this expression. And angle C is corresponding to angle C prime. That's on the third place. Okay, then based on these two points, we can tell that the corresponding angles are congruent in these two triangles. Okay, this is also very important for you to know this. So angle A is congruent to angle A prime. Angle B is congruent to angle B prime. And angle C is congruent to angle C prime. And then from the second point, the corresponding sides are proportional or they have the same ratio. So this ratio could be AB over A prime, B prime. And that is equal to the ratio of another pair. That is BC over B prime, C prime. And this is equal to the ratio of the third pair that is equal to AC over A prime, C prime. And let's assume a number here. Let's assume this is equal to two. And here we call this number as a scale factor. By the definition, the skill factor is the ratio of the corresponding size. And you don't have to put in in this way. You can write A prime B prime on the top and A B on the bottom. 
So this number here should be equal to one half. So you can also say one half is the skill factor. How do we understand the meaning of the skill factor? You can try to imagine it this way. Okay, again for these two triangles, and we use the number two here. If you enlarge the size of the triangle A prime B prime C prime by a skill factor of two, then you would get the same shape as ABC. In another word, if you shrink the size of ABC by a skill factor of one half, then you would get the same shape as A prime B prime and C prime. That is a skill factor. Okay, then in the next video, we are going to look at the three examples regarding this part. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.